This week, I'm leaving Louie in New York City and exploring the wilderness with someone very special. Belle and I left New York to live in the wilderness for four days with Wanderlust Family Retreats. Now, these retreats are for moms and kids to reconnect with each other and themselves through various wellness experiences. Plus, each pair gets their own little cabin with a bathroom, shower, and epic forest views. We got in late, headed to bed, ready to start our first day. But before I get into this retreat, please give this video a like if you enjoy this style of content so I know to make more videos like this. All right, let's get into it. I slept actually way better than I expected I would because I'm kind of afraid to sleep in like cabins in the woods, which I know sounds weird. My parents always make fun of me for this. Um, but it was really peaceful, it was beautiful, and I'm shocked. I feel like I've accomplished something just by being able to do that. Part of this is, you know, like reconnecting with yourself and your baby. So they gave me this journal. I'm gonna attempt to journal my thoughts right now, and we'll see how this goes. I'm not really one to put a pen to paper. When you're in the moment, you gotta just go all in. And so we're gonna see how this goes. I feel like I'm in an Instagram post, <laughs> like in a real life Instagram post. The sun comes right through the window at 4.45, by the way. I didn't even mind it. I was like, yes, look at me. Look at me living in the wilderness. Breakfast time. Oh God, here we go. You wake up when you're ready. The babe has awoken. Are you ready for breakfast? <gasps> yeah, those are your toys. Does anyone know where Bella went? Bella? <gasps> oh, there you are. Where's Bella? <gasps> there she is. For breakfast, we headed to the pavilion where they served us a farm to table meal. And Bella is traditionally a really bad eater, so one of the things I wanted to learn more about here was how to encourage her to eat more. Yesterday at dinner? Mm-mm, no. She would not sit. She would not sit. Oh, you almost stabbed me in the eye, you crazy babe. What you Bella brought us, what is this? Okay, that's what it is. Good job. You know what you get? A piece of cheese. Just one piece. Okay, well, that was a fail. <laughs> Open. Good job. Okay. I swear, feeding this baby is the biggest challenge of all. Like, everything else is so simple in comparison. Bella, what does a duck say? Yeah, good job. Bubbles. You do it. Shake, shake, shake. Bella. <laughs> So now we're dropping Bella off at daycare. She literally already forgot that I exist. And now the moms are gonna go do some yoga. So we just finished yoga. It was so incredibly peaceful and beautiful on the sunny pavilion. The teacher was fantastic and we really focused a lot on hips, which I think a lot of moms have trouble with. And it was just so peaceful and beautiful and relaxing. And now, it is time for the mommy brunch. So we are going to have that right by the pond and Bella's having a blast at the daycare program. She gets to interact with a ton of kids her age and I get to interact with the moms on this beautiful, beautiful table spread overlooking a pond and this stunning flower field. So lunch was so delicious. They served this salad and lettuce wrap, so it was super healthy. And now it is time to do some meditation in the forest. So we just finished meditation and I am on my way to pick up Bella. I was told that she actually fell asleep on top of someone and it's been asleep for the last 30 minutes. So we're gonna go check it out. I picked Bella up and she slept the whole five minute walk back to the cabin. But when I went to put her in the crib to continue her nap, you will never guess what happened. So Bella will not go to sleep if she sees me. Ground. Sleep. There she goes, throws herself on the ground. Bella, this is ridiculous. So I'm literally watching her through a crack in the door and that's the only way it looks like she's gonna go to sleep. So now I'm just trapped outside of the cabin because um, all of my stuff is in there and if she sees me, she won't go to sleep. 
parenting. <laughs> Like, literally, how did you hear me? I personally thought I was super stealth. Okay. Wait for mommy, please. Come on, here, babe. This is Veronica. <laughs> we are doing our bespoke experience. She specializes in Montessori. What are we gonna do today? The best thing to do is to just really talk about, like, where my, hi what milestones are happening. Like we talked about that uh, Bella really enjoyed eating because we did some sensory play before. Yes, that's and such so, a good hack. So like you would recommend play having her play with Play-Doh or something beforehand. Yes, yeah. She also is not great at drinking. Have you tried like involving her when you get the water? Like have, you know, her cup and then have a pitcher and like pour it in for her. <gasps> oh, is that cold? <laughs> We're gonna put the water in the cup, okay? Wow. Mmm. It's working! Not gonna lie, this instantly worked. Potty training. Like, when should we start that? You should start whenever they start to like show signs of it. So, the first one would be like, is she holding her pee for long periods of time? And then another one would be if they start to just like show interest when you go to the potty and they like see you and they're like mm. curious about it. Thank you so much, Bella. Say thank you. Yeah. Thanks for hanging with us. Perfect. Ah. All right, let's explore outside. We have to put on this fabulous outfit that they got you, Belle. Whoa, look at your cool explorer jacket, Bella. And we have this hat. Are you serious? You know, I'm trying to give you the wilderness. And what are you saying? You just want Coco Melon. Unbelievable. Okay, let's go, let's go. What's your first find? What'd you find? What is this? Oh, that's the thing you were looking for? Smell good? We're doing some mommy baby yoga. I am not super confident this is gonna work out. Today's meal is pasta, pizza, and salad. You may be thinking, oh, that's a lot of carbs, but there's actually no carbs. All of this is made of cauliflower, and I didn't even know. It's that good. It tastes delicious. So what they started doing is they actually gave her Play-Doh before she eats, so she gets that like tactile thing out of her system, and she just plays with the Play-Doh, and then she doesn't feel like she needs to play with her food, and then she can eat. I'm so impressed. Whoa, We're gonna have to do this all the time. I'm just so happy that she's eating because she is not good either. And this is such an improvement, like in less than 24 hours. She wants it, she wants it. Okay, get it, get one. What one do you want? Mm. What do you think? So we're gonna do story time now because they have some lovely story time by the campfire, right Bella? It smells so good, it's so nice. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Look at this, nice little layout here. Okay, oh, you wanna, okay, but you got chocolate all over your face, Bella. You can't lay on that. Bella, this is a fire, you can't touch it, you can't touch it. Just wants to touch the fire so bad. Bella, it's story time. <gasps> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone's enjoying a story. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sounds. A bicycle bell ringing. Ching, 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 ching. Jets are very noisy when they're overhead. After an inspiring day, we headed back to our cabin to read a bedtime story and get a good night's rest. 
Now, this vlog was just a peek into one of my days at Wanderlust Family Retreats, but we were lucky enough to experience four fabulous days like this, and I had such an amazing time that I'm planning on doing it again in the future. In fact, I enjoyed it so much that they gave me a promo code to share with you all. You can save $100 off any future booking using code SARAH10. It is a great way to reconnect with your children, and I highly recommend it. Thanks for joining me on this retreat. I'll see you next time.